Hey everyone, this is Krypton Tricks channel. Let's continue our dive into subspace network and today we will look at the latest news. To be more specific, Gemini 2 testnet. Testnet 2. The first Gemini allowed the developers to gather a lot of information. And on September 20th they decided that it is the right time for a second testnet. Yes, it is already live. This time the main focus will be on testing the resiliency of the proof of archival storage consensus and farmer uptime. During the time between test nets, the developers have made several improvements to the consensus layer. The changes will allow all new nodes to join the canonical chain and farmers will not need to restart. Besides, likely for those who want to join the network for the first time, the network is initially seeded with just 5 gigabytes of history to allow farmers to sync faster and start farming. Additionally, similar to the stress test, the default plot size is 100 gigabytes, which is also the maximum a farmer can pledge to the network. Important to note that since every node will be an archival node by default, farmers will need approximately 50 GB of free disk space in addition to the amount pledged for the chain history growth. Do not worry if you do not have this 150 GB of free space on your computer. Farmers may lower their plot size below 100 GB without affecting the farming experience. So, basically, all you need to join the network is enough free space on your hard drive. And yes, you will get rewards for your efforts. Rewards. Rewards for this phase will be distributed amongst all qualified addresses and will not be calculated based on the space each user pledged. Unlike many other blockchains where the biggest and the baddest get the bulk of rewards, subspace is about creating the largest decentralized network, not about who can sync faster or pledge more space. All in all, there are three milestones that can be unlocked, each granting a high cumulative amount of tokens. If the third milestone is reached, the total reward for testnet participants will be 0.5% of the total token supply. I could not find any information about the total supply, but let's say that it will be 10 billion at the time of mainnet launch. If so, the testnet participants will share 50 million tokens between themselves. Use SSD. During the first testnet, I have seen a lot of complaints from classic HDD users. Some had problems with loan synchronization. And it seems that the developers have listened to feedback and have decided to optimize the network for SSDs. Farming with HDDs is still possible, but it will immediately be noticeable that it is more challenging. Besides, SSD has a few obvious advantages. For example, better security with lower CPU usage, lower energy consumption rate and better performance allows for simpler protocol design and gives the ability to design a substantially better user experience for broader adoption of the network. If you decide to go with HDD, remember that it may not be able to handle large plots further along in the project's roadmap. Using SSD will be highly beneficial for the whole network ecosystem and for the community of farmers in the long run. Smaller farmers will have more opportunities to earn rewards, since the discrepancy between large farmers and small farmers will be less than when HDDs are used, which contributes to greater decentralization. Conclusion So anyone can become a farmer and collect blocks by giving their free disk space. Have around 100 GB of free space on your PC? Great, you can join! Farmers store as many unique segments of blockchain history as their disk space allows. They store it all collectively, which allows them to operate as a single distributed archive node. A farmer does not need to maintain hundreds of SSD to store all of the blockchain's history. Do not want to become a farmer or simply cannot? Well, you can still be a part of the subspace community by becoming an ambassador. But this is the topic of the next video, stay tuned! Please subscribe, like and share this video if you think anyone could get value from it. Good luck guys, bye!